Welcome back. There is yet another twist in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. The LA Times reporting that former Trump campaign aide, in fact, his deputy campaign manager, Rick Gates, will plead guilty on fraud-related charges. That plea expected within the next few days. Let's dissect all these legal developments now. Joining me now is criminal defense attorney Seth Waxman. So if I remember correctly, when Gates and Manafort were first, first charged, I think Gates was facing something in the 10 to 12 years. Now it's down to 18 months. Typically, if you're a prosecutor, to get that sentence down, that defendant has to be offering a fair amount. No question. I mean, the way you get individuals to flip is to put charges in front of them that are significant, whether that's in the 8 to 10 to 20 year range, and then, you know, to cut them a deal, to get information from them that helps you advance your case up the chain to the bigger fish. And in exchange, of course, you get something in return, in this case, potentially a sentence around 18 months. Do we know from looking at this deal or the reporting about the deal so far, whether it is solely confined to business dealings pre-election Manafort Gates we know they were into a lot of dodgy business stuff in Ukraine etc possible money laundering can, can we tell for sure where the focus is well I, I can almost assure you that we won't be able to tell for sure when we see the paperwork but what I can also tell you for sure it's everything mm -hmm. so when you cut a deal with the government they are going to get whatever they can out of you. And in my mind, this may be the most significant event in a week of significant events. I mean, Bob Mueller is focused in on three main people, Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and Paul Manafort, mm -hmm. to roll them up on the president eventually. He has now set his sights squarely on Paul Manafort and getting Rick Gates to cooperate and give all the information he has about Paul Manafort is significant. I mean, what I think Bob Mueller has are emails, text messages, bank records, but those are cold, hard documents. You need someone on the inside, a cooperator, to walk you through, kind of breathe life into those documents, and essentially tell you where the bodies are buried. And I can tell you that Paul Manafort right now is not sitting comfortably, and I don't think people in the White House should be either. Right. And, and Paul Manafort was, was facing something in, in the similar range, 10 to, 10 to 15 years. So you got your deputy now going state's evidence uh, to, some, to some degree. Um, if you're his lawyer advising Paul Manafort, what are you telling him now? Well, there's an X factor with Paul Manafort that is different than any other criminal defendant in the country. Is President Trump going to pardon him? Has that been conveyed to Paul Manafort in words or substance? That's an X factor I can't answer. I don't think anybody can answer. In the normal scheme of things, given what I know is probably behind uh, Bob Mueller's uh, investigation, bank records, text messages, emails, they have 10 years of a relationship. And now Paul, uh, Rick Gates has flipped. That is a very difficult situation. So if, under normal circumstances, I would say the other shoe is about to drop very quickly. Um, the X factor, of course, being a pardon. That's remarkable, though, that that, you know, from a lawyer's perspective, that that, that is a possibility. That, I mean, because right now you're, you're getting to a fairly long list of folks you'd have to pardon. You know, Michael Flynn, uh, who's pled guilty, George Papadopoulos, who's pled guilty. He's, he's been state's evidence for a number of months, right, or, or cooperating. Uh, Rick Gates, Paul Manafort. I mean, is this something the president could get away with? Well, I do think Paul Manafort something, or, and Rick Gates are something different. In other words, I mean, if you talk about that key Trump Tower meeting in 2016 mm -hmm. with the Russians, you had three main people that were there. So I don't know that Trump has to go out and pardon everyone. Whether Rick Gates actually had contact with the president and knew the inner workings, mm -hmm. you know, he seems a little bit further removed. But if, you know, we're talking about Paul Manafort or his son or Jared Kushner, if he wants to play that pardon card maybe once or twice, and the political ramifications of that would be obviously very serious. But, you know, if it comes down to having someone in that Trump Tower meeting, cooperating with the government and talking about what those conversations were like with the president before, during, and after, that's very troubling. So it could be, uh, you know, the pardon card. Other than that, if I was just a, you know, a white collar defense lawyer like I am or a former prosecutor, I'd say the other shoe's about to fall with Paul Manafort because in the, under these circumstances, you got to think a plea is the way he would go. And the remarkably senior people with respect to the president, campaign manager, deputy campaign manager, and his former national security advisor. Yeah. Thanks very much Thank for you. helping us understand.